What's up everyone, my name is Mark Plant and this is MPV Vlogs. Hey everyone, like I said, my name is Mark Plant, this is MPV Vlogs, thanks for coming in. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. Really does help out the channel, helps out the videos and everything. You're already a subscriber, thank you so much, I do appreciate it. You guys are the reason I do these videos. I, I say it every video, but I really do mean it. Thank you so much. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. I'll get back to it soon. All right. Well, I'm uh, running at about 75% right now. My whole family has had the flu for the past week. Um, yeah, <laughs> has not been fun around here at all. Uh, so I, I'm trying to get a video. Um, I, this is how you can tell that I've been sick. Uh, I had toys delivered this week and I haven't even opened them. Haven't even attempted to open them. It is... It's been a rough week. This was this was a good flu. This uh, I haven't been this sick in a long time. My poor wife, she's had it even worse than me. Um, so yeah, it's been tough. You can probably hear it in my voice, <sighs> but I gotta go on. So what I'm gonna do is a couple of things. I'm gonna try to do in this video is I wanna open up the boxes, see what we got in them, and I would really love. To be able to clean up this mess. Uh, I want to take that shelf down. And I want to move it to the other side of the room. Uh, like I said in my last video. I'm going to be creating a workshop over on this side of the room. This side of the room. That TV is going to go on that wall. So this will be like a mini living room. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be able to do that. But we'll see. We'll see if this... Whatever I have, the flu, whatever, it knocks me down. So, let's go, try to get some things done anyway. All right. I ordered everything here through Home Depot. Uh, I do have an issue with Home Depot. It's, I had gone into one of the stores to purchase this stuff because I've seen it online. You cannot purchase these kits in the store. You actually have to order them online. Basically what's happening is Home Depot is driving you away from the store. They do not want you in the store. Okay, they want you, they basically want to be Amazon. And it's getting really bad so that a lot of the merchandise that they are advertising is no longer even in the stores. You have to go and order it online. So it's getting really frustrating. I like to purchase something and have it in my hands at the time that I purchase it. I don't mind ordering something if it's a specialty tool, but if a store is advertising it as a sale item, they should have it in the store. It's absolutely ridiculous. But, I mean, I, I'm guessing with them using what's going on now as the excuse, you have to order everything. And the main reason they want to do it is if you don't go into the stores, they don't have to pay the employees. They don't have to pay the taxes on the building. They don't have to heat the building. Yeah, so that what you're going to see, I can guarantee within the next year or two, Home Depot, Lowe's, Walmart, and those sort of stores are going to start shutting down stores saying that not enough people are going into the stores. Well, this is the reason why they're not going into the stores. That's my little editorial on this. But anyway, first thing I got in, it's something I've been wanting to get for a while. It is a Brad Nailer. Uh, it is... The Ryobi brand, I know Ryobi is for do-it-yourselfers, it's home, they're cheap. That's the reason why I got it. Um, I'm just starting out here. I don't know how good I'm going to be at this. So, I ended up purchasing this, uh, basically because I already have the battery packs. I have a Ryobi drill and I have a bunch of old Ryobi tool tools. If you looked at my last video, you'll see... Uh, I think it's up here or up here. I'll put a card up there so you can go back and check that out. But, all the, um, the reviews that I've seen on this, it is a 16 gauge, uh, f drives brad nails from 5 eighths of an inch to 2 inches. So, 
Yeah. Uh, once I get everything together, I'm going to break this open. I'll give a demonstration on how it works. So hopefully it works pretty well. So let's go and let's see the next thing that I got. Uh, mystery box from Home Depot. Uh, I have a feeling I may be kicking myself that I should have checked this stuff when it came in rather than waiting. Like I said, unfortunately, we've all been sick and this was the last thing that I was actually thinking of. But let's use a key to break this industrial freaking tape that they have on it. Holy mackerel. Ugh. Oh my god. All right. So what do we have in this toy box? Okay. I also ordered the Ryobi One Plus Orbital Random, excuse me, Random Audible, Audible Ram it. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> random Orbit Sander. Also works on the battery pack. Uh, yeah, I needed one of these. I don't have a um, Orbital Sander, so again, we'll break this open once I get everything together and we'll see how it works. Okay. This next one. Ugh. All right. As you can see here, I ordered some batteries. Uh, the battery that I have with my drill right now is uh, 1.5 uh, amp hours, which with the tools that I have there probably would not last too long. Uh, and anyone that has batteries, you know, they are very expensive. The reason why I have the Ryobi drill that I have, the green one, is my old Ryobi batteries died. I wasn't able to charge them anymore. So I went to go buy another battery. It's actually cheaper to buy the tool with the battery than just the battery. But with this here, I actually came across a deal on HomeDepot.com where I ordered, let's see what I got, these batteries. Come on. God, they use good tape. There we go. Nice packing. Yeah, good packing. Inside here. Some more tape. This up. Alright, so in the box, instructions and all of that stuff. Okay. What I have here is a charger. And, okay, I do. Box looked kind of small. I was getting a little nervous. I ordered two four amp hour batteries. So there's one, and here's the second one. It was actually cheaper for me to order two of these four amp hour batteries than just one. Uh, I, at Home Depot, you, you confused the hell out of me. But these are going to work almost, last almost three times as long as the 1.5 that I have. Okay, so that's the second battery. So these are the OnePlus 4 amp hour 18 volt lithium batteries. Hopefully you can see that on that camera. Not getting glare off the light. Also in that box, I ordered a couple of sanding discs for the orbital sander can never have enough this is uh, a variety pack it goes from 80 grit to 220 so i'll be able to really finely sand any project that i do and i have a table saw haven't used it in a while but one of the things i never used and the more i'm looking in this is getting into safety a lot more safety so I had a $5 push stick. Uh, just need to save the fingers because I don't know whether the camera will pick it up. I have a scar on my knuckle there. I caught that on the table saw. 
So yeah, that wasn't one of my brightest moves. So safety first, always use a push stick on the table saw. And I may even set up a router table too. So that would be good for that. Well, that's it in those, that box. Okay. Also received two envelopes. Okay, inside this first envelope. All right, got myself a T-square. This was inexpensive. I believe this was like about five or six bucks. Plastic, but I don't have a square, so I need a square. I'm also going to go out probably to the store and I'm going to purchase a speed square. And anything that I build, you need to be square, so obviously. But uh, like I said, a lot of this stuff that I'm purchasing right now, I'm just learning how to do this stuff. So if I bought the wrong stuff, leave me a comment below, let me know. And in the last one, Brad Nails. I, ooh, this box is open too. That is not good. Nice. Nice job, Home Depot. Yeah, the whole top's ripped off of it. The whole top was ripped off of this. It's not in here. It didn't rip off the ship, did it? I hate these. Yep, got ripped off during shipping. That is not good. I would have been pissed if these Brad Nails were all out in the in this envelope. All right, so that's something. But uh, I got a 1,018 gauge, two inch Brad Nails. Um, I'm gonna have to get some shorter ones too, but that's coming up soon. All right, so that's what I got from Home Depot. Uh, I still got one more tool coming and I had ordered a palm router with some uh, carbide bits. They should be coming in this week. Once I get them in, I'll do another video, show you exactly what I got. I'm dragging a little bit right now, so I'm gonna try to get that cabinet cleaned out and everything, get everything cleaned out of there, and take you guys along for the ride. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go over to GoPro. <laughs> I am good at creating messes. So that is one thing. I, if I could find a job where the job was to create a mess, I would be, I would be king at that job. But I've got the cabinet down. It's right here right now. What my plan is is I'm going to probably cut it in half and I'm going to put it one on each side of the window where those corner cabinets are right now. What I didn't take into consideration with it is that there's no support on the shelves so i don't think i have any wood on me right now to do those supports so i'm gonna have to hold off until i get a chance to run to home depot or get some wood just for supports <sighs> but we tread on i have a lot to do down here and i think i may have bitten off a heck of a lot more than I could chew. <laughs> uh, but what I'm gonna do is, like I said in a previous video, from this wall here over to that wall, I am gonna be building a wall here. Uh, just to make sure that I've got my measurements correct, I've got a huge green screen. I'm gonna hang it from the hanging ceiling right down the line and just make sure that all my measurements are correct of what I want to do. So I had to move all this crap out of the way that I just put in there. Uh, why did I do this on a Sunday? Uh, plus I'm starting to run out of gas. I'm starting to feel cruddy right now. But let's get this, just get this curtain up and let's see how it works. All right, everyone, I got this side of the basement, or actually I got the basement 
straight in the way that I'm I want it. Uh, took me all afternoon. I am dying right now. Uh, need to replace the ceiling still, but basically, I put my green screen up here. That's where the wall is going to go. This will be the living room area. The freezer will go into the shop area. We'll get plenty of room over here. Still have my office in here. In this room here will be the shop. I got my workbench over here. My tools, I'll be building out shelves all the way around. When this wall goes up, there'll be a shelf here. So it's going to give me probably... I'm guessing probably eight foot by eight foot in here room to move around so Not gonna be a huge shop, but it's more than I have now. Uh, so I'm looking forward to it. Still have a ton of work to do I'm done for the night. <laughs> That's gonna be it. So yeah, so everything's in place right now uh, Let me know what you think. Uh, give me any tips tricks ideas what, what you think I should do <sighs> A lot of work. I got so much junk. So much junk I need to get rid of. In any case, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Like I said earlier, if you're new to the channel, first of all, thanks for going this far into the video. Uh, please hit that subscribe button down on the bottom. It really does help out the channel. Uh, if you're already a subscriber, thank you guys so much. Make sure you hit the bell icon right next to the subscribe button. Uh, you'll get a notification anytime I put up a new video. That also helps out the channel. Uh, if you're using a mobile device, just make sure that notifications are allowed. Otherwise, you're not going to get the notification. Leave me a thumbs up if you like this video. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. That's fine. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you didn't like about it. And like I said, down below, give me some hints, ideas, tricks, what you think I should do. So, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. And I'll be back to you guys again real soon. You ever fail? Are you listening? Damn.